Srijan, could you speak about which were your major extracurricular activities, your biggest achievement in each type, and finally, stories or advice that you have regarding any of those? Yeah, so um, I, I, I think my portfolio or extracurricular activities were like the stronger side of my application. Um, so I, I would definitely say there's this impression that you everyone needs to be extremely spiked uh, in one area that is like that means I don't know being the best in the world in math or something. Um, I think I was more well-rounded than spiked so both can work. Um, I had both a mixture of humanities and the sciences and perhaps that was what I brought fresh to the table. So for instance in, in the humanities uh, I did a lot of debating in high school. Um, so for instance I went to world schools debate championships four times. Um, twice from Bangladesh and twice from Wales, uh, where my high school was. And so that experience in national team like helped me learn a lot about politics and sociology and humanities, et cetera. Um, so, and this is, I, I think slightly important because a lot of people have this perception that debaters now make it to great schools, but like it was not a trend a few years ago. So there's no feeder activity. There's no like one extracurricular that takes you to places, right? Like you do what you like and eventually a story sort of carves out of, of your life. Um, secondly, I did some science competitions as well, um, or as I like to call them, baby research. Um, so for instance, I did a water science project with a few friends from St. Joseph's, Labib and Navid. Um, we designed an urban micro plan that recycles 45% of gray water. That is water that's used in like uh, flushing, in like uh, when you shower, when you wash things, and that constitutes a majority of water usage. We also, uh, integrated the system with like a rainwater harvesting that was a bit no more novel than what you see in the market. And then we pitched this idea to two science competitions where we got recognitions. One was um, the Stockholm Junior Water Prize. There's a Bangladesh national round and we won that. Then we got mentorship from a few professors at Buet. Um, and then we went to the international round as finalists uh, with 28 other countries. And then, another, then we worked on the same project a bit more and collaborated with another project uh, from Canada. And um, we got to the semifinals of MIT Water Innovation Award in 2017. And that was a graduate level competition. So I think these two like uh, research-based activities and, and my debating as well, both sort of helped me come across as a more well-rounded person. Okay, uh, so one major takeaway I'm getting from this is that you don't necessarily have to have a spike for those who doesn't know, don't know what spike means, it means having an extraordinary level of accomplishment in one side of extracurricular activities. It could be you're a math genius, or you could be your national level basketball player or something. However, in both Srijan and my case, actually, we were coming from a more well-rounded applicant pool rather than a spike carrying pool. And I think it worked out well for us, so there's a good chance it can work out well for you too. Thank you for sharing your